I look at PVM, Matt. I'm gonna guess that was not good. good. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Now in the elevator, or? <sighs> not yet. Okay, so apparently the guy tells us to do the elevator. I've been avoiding the elevator because I knew it didn't work. So. It probably works, just. It doesn't work. What the, the fuck? It doesn't work. You're supposed to take the elevator back down. It doesn't work. The elevator doesn't work! I... Uh, you just fucked the game yesterday, man! Come on! I was oh. broken already! You second chanced it? What is there a second chance? Like, I don't fucking know. Ay, ay. I don't know what the second chance did, so I'm just gonna load. I don't know either. You wanna look at the guy again? See if it. We didn't get very far in the game. I know. I think I messed with the breakers and messed something up, probably. You're talking about when you loaded and saved before and after fucking with the breakers and shit? Yeah, probably. Huh. I think Gee. I. Wonder how that could have happened. Listen here, mister. Just. I, I let you go away with it because I figured they were going to reset after you don't mess it with them. Turns out they didn't. Is that a crying? No, I was typing. Oh. Um, I was assuming that, uh... That, uh... That, no, the, the breakers would stay. I don't know why you thought they would reset, considering the kind of game this is. I... But I didn't know what they were going to do. I assumed they would you reset because I figured it was a puzzle of some sort. Okay, I need you to look up just the breaker. Skip all the spoilers and just get to the breaker. All right, all right, all right. Because I need to know what to turn on to make the elevator work and what not to make the elevator work, etc. Uh, okay. Apparently, all you have to do is just pull the lever to reset the elevator. Really? Yep, pull it down. Go back up the stairs and notice the lights to your upper staircase are on. The lights to the, the, lights to the upper staircase? Yep. And ask Dexter about the radiator again. It's not on. It's <coughs> too dark. I should take the elevator. Also, Dexter's not here anymore because it's nighttime, apparently. Oh, well. <laughs> well, I reset the elevator. So let's go back to the elevator, I suppose. Which way was the elevator? Uh... Okay. Well, I reset it. And now... Okay! Okay, we're back. And it's stuck. Yeah. So you said look up. Uh, it's stuck. Or Let's press see. the alarm. Uh, you get, uh, an emergency button doesn't work. Turn around and look up for a way out. Turn around and yeah. look up? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can make it. Uh, jumping across the metal ladder along the wall is a little risky. Perhaps you can find another way. After you get back to the hall... Uh, perhaps I can find another way. So what's the other way? Oh, the box. Uh... Can you not stand on the box to... Oh, there we go. Aha! Ellie, Okay. Alright. Now I need that. Okay. We could cut a lot of the extra stuff we just did out. Yes, yes we can. <laughs> I don't know why that was necessary, I just assumed the elevator didn't work. It works, temporarily. Is Dexter gonna be there now? Hey Dexter! No, you're still gone! Well, I guess I'm back to your room and sleep. But my alarm my, it doesn't work! Are you sure? The power was off! Maybe I have to set it. No, the, the clock, the power was off! Oh, maybe the battery's trying to replace them. I don't think that's it. I think I just accidentally turned my room power off. Hmm. That's why I wanted you to look up with the thing with the breaker. I don't fucking know. Well, that's why you're the guide guy. Hey, look. I wonder if the power's on. I 
After you get back to the hall, head down to the stairs to Dr. Dexter and let him know that the elevator's broken also. But Dexter's not there. Does it lights at the upper start of Kickstarter? You guys need to check the circuit breakers and the top lead layers. On the right, as shown in the picture below. Okay, go right to the circuit breaker box. <sighs> okay. Okay, go in there. You said you will uh, run into Lisa? Or no? I guess that's later. Later, yeah. Actually, that was a different walkthrough, so that's not. Uh, okay, circuit breaker. Uh, not running in the correct position. What? No, they're not. Oh, the made it seem like they were supposed to be. Okay, well, that should be it. That's it? Yep. Everything else the same? And then back out, reset the elevator, and then walk back upstairs. Wait, this is like this. And no, these. you can have a picture for a sec. Like that. Okay. Did you put everything back the way it's supposed to be? Yes. You nerd. Yes, I did. That's the wrong way. Jar just pops up from one of the corners, smacks him in the head with a frying pan. <laughs> what? No, a shovel. <laughs> okay. I feel like the last of, the last mystery where freaking uh, what's his face? The guy who I told you it was gonna be all along, William or whatever the fuck. No, Lewis. Lewis, yeah. Yeah, the the antique guy. Yeah. I fucking told you it was Lewis. I mean, it was kind of obvious. <laughs> no, like before that, like I told you it was gonna be Lewis, and you're like, no, it doesn't make any I sense. I didn't say that. I'm pretty sure it was you I that never said that. Sense. You are making things up. Anyway. Anyway. There we go. Okay. Alarm. Uh, 11 p.m.? No, that's, like, really late. It's over from... 8 a.m. seems good. Yeah. Did you remember to reset the elevator before we went back up? What do you mean? Did you remember to pull the lever thing? The elevator no, reset? No, I didn't. I, God damn it, I just told you what to... You told me about the breaker, that's all you told me. No, and I told you to pull the elevator when you go back up. Hold on, I need to tell them about yes. the elevator. I was in the elevator and it got stuck between floors. I had to climb out the top and I just barely made it up to the floor above. Do you think you'll be able to fix it? Well, I doubt it's broken. I'll check the power switch in the basement. Glad you're okay. But don't go climbing around the elevator shaft anymore. It's dangerous in there. I don't want to pester you, Mr. Egan, but <clears throat> the radiator... Thanks for dealing with the circuit breaker. Okay, we're really making progress here, kid. So, you go up to Hotchkiss's room and see what she wants for dinner. She's not answering her phone. No problem, boss. Okay. Okay. Well, okay, now that I'm done with that, I don't need the <laughs> guy yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Now I can just do stuff. Stuff? Stuff. 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 I think you went uh, the wrong way. I'm pretty sure you done the whole thing to the right. Yeah, I think so too. Also, is the elevator back? It's locked. No, no. Nope. It's still stuck between floors. Yeah, you gotta go back downstairs and get on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that in a second. Wrong door? Oh. Aha! Ah, Virginia Woolf never endured such interruptions. Who is it? Hi, Professor. I thought you might be getting hungry in there. Could I relay a dinner order for you? No, oh, hard to think of food candy when I'm riding the <laughs> raging rapids of my theory. Oh, right now, I have plenty of pre-packaged energy globules to keep me going. But... Tell Baxter that I am developing I think she's doing that a on powerful purpose. craving for couscous. Yes, couscous for dinner would be splendid. I'll have a nice tip for you next time, Fanny. Fanny, that's just rude. I, I mean, they're they're. That's a. It's a name, is it? Fanny. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was. You know, like and Fanny. No. We brought someone. We're in the kitchen! I have no idea what you're referring to. What do you call her Aunt Fanny? 
I have no idea what you're I, I have no idea what you're referencing. Girl, watch the movie. Oh, that. I don't remember. Yes. The professor says she has a hankering for um, couscous. Couscous. Never heard of it. Tell her to order something off the menu. Okay. See you, Mr. Egan. Alrighty then. Well, back upstairs. Did you notice the change in his mannerisms? Like, <clears throat> become different the later that <clears throat> Bay gets? Uh, I, no, I didn't notice. Well, like, he starts off saying, Is that then, my couscous already? Say, like, goodbye. <coughs> Sorry, Professor, but there's no couscous in the house. You'll need to choose something from the hotel menu. Well, I don't have a menu. At least not from this hotel. Oh, be a doll and, and fetch me one, will you? Ta-ta. And did you get the menu? Sure did. How about opening the door so I can give it to you? Oh, you're a sneaky one. Just slip it under the door, please. Nice and easy. No funny stuff. Was she gonna okay. shoot you with a blunderbuss uh, to the door or something? Ooh, baby back ribs. Yes. Oh, chili cheese dog. A fried bologna sandwich. Uh, I'm not usually much of a meat eater, but uh, very well. Fifty drumsticks, please. 50? Chicken, that is. Cluck, cluck. Sure. What? Fifty drumsticks. <laughs> Whatever makes you happy. Rock and roll, dear. Rock and roll? What the fuck? You, Brandy? <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're here. At the moment, my theory is rising like a magnificent souffle. I need to collect a few more ingredients, if you will, but it's a delicate situation. If I leave my room even for a moment, I fear the souffle will come crashing down in a heap. What do you need me for, Professor? What I need is some information about the castle. Hard numbers. I've come to the conclusion that you are an enterprising and faithful soul. Therefore, okay. I have decided to entrust you with Mistress. this important mission. <laughs> Who knows? If you succeed, I might whisk you away from the hotel business to be my personal research assistant. Well, Professor Hodgkiss, I'm not actually in the hotel business, but I'd love to help. Marvelous! Here's what I need to know. How many days before her 38th birthday was Marie Antoinette executed? I'll be very eager to hear what you come up with. But please, don't disturb me unless you have the answer. Well, I mean, I can find that in the book downstairs, but like, what the fuck does that have to do with the hotel? It may not necessarily have anything to do with the hotel specifically, but okay. I don't know. Something, something's theory. Right. Uh, I guess I'll tell well, them. Can I help you? The uh, professor history. has changed her order. Seems she's developed an appetite for chicken drumsticks. Fifty of them. Okay then. Drumsticks we got. Oops. But I guess Jock better take that bag of chicken legs out of the freezer. Will you tell him? And then take the rest of the day off, kid. Your radiator's as good as fixed. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Goodbye. No, I take the rest of the day off. What? You oh, weren't okay. even supposed to be working. Like, vacation. This is supposed to be like a favor and chores and stuff. Like, what? All right. Okay. Marie Antoinette. <coughs> was born in Vienna, Austria, on November 2nd, 1755. She was the youngest daughter of Francis I and Maria Theresa, Emperor and Empress of the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, 1770 is in his... So, November 2nd is what we need to know. When did she get executed? Uh... <coughs> On August, the National Convention on January 1793, and in August, the Queen was put in solitary confinement on the Conciergerie. Okay, August, so October 16th is when she was executed, because October 14th yeah. then gave him two days later. Yeah. So November 2nd was her birthday. October 14th, 16th was when she got executed. So how many how many days is that? Sorry, what? How many days is that? From when to when? October 16th and November 2nd. Uh. Oops. Should be about. I believe it's 16, oh. 17 days. Right? Because if you take 16. Well, how many days are in October? 31. 31, okay. <coughs> so that's 16. Because October 31st. 
17, 18, 19, <coughs> 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, that's 10, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 31 1, 2, 2. So, what, 17? That's 17. I told you. Alright, I just want to make sure. Okay, I guess we gotta tell her. Oh, wait, go, no, no, go talk to Dexter, or not Dexter, uh, the, what's his face, Jack, about the uh, chicken drumsticks. Oh well, yeah, but we can still tell her the answer. Okay, well then. It's really picky about where it wants me to click. Like, I have to click this door over here. Yes! Yeah, I... Did you find the information I asked you for? Sure did. Sure did. Good, but I need you to write <coughs> it down so I don't forget. Okay. Uh... Thank you. Let me do some calculations to see if this is correct. Eureka! If there's one thing I like in a young person, it's ingenuity. Now, I've got work to do. Time to stir the cauldron and stoke the fire. But if you'd like to talk, I'll be holding office hours in the lobby between 3 and 6 a.m. Meet me then. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, well uh, I did it. Yep. 3 and 6 a.m. I don't know why I keep doing this. Because... I could just go forward, but I, I, I feel a need to go around the bend anyway. Oh well. But anyway. Where where Lisa is? Somewhere. Dead. D E D. Dead. Oh jeez. Okay, well, you said just reset? Yeah, just pull over and. Okay. okay. Just the elevator should be reset now. Anyway, uh. Talk to Jacques. Jok. Ah, Nancy. Como ça va? Dexter needs you to defrost that big bag of chicken legs. Oh, la la la. What does he think I am? A sous chef? I'll talk to you later. Ciao. Okay, well, that's taken care of, I guess. Yep. I still need to figure out what my, my <coughs> dialogue combination is. Turns out you don't have one. Ah, 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 ah. The elevator actually works on it, baby. Yeah. Okay, but why? What, 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 didn't you say like the the lights would be on on the stairs now? Uh, in in one in the thing you're reading? Yeah. That that's I'm pretty sure that's the uh, or no the other stairwell the one that was dark before, right? Oh, that, that's just that just leads upstairs. It was too dark before, remember? Yeah, like that's the the curved one, right? Yeah. So yeah. that's all that did. Okay. Got it. Did you see I fixed your radiator? Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. <laughs> Bye, Joe. Wow. Doesn't even say thanks, sir. Uh, I guess I need to look at it first. Hi there, how's it going? So, tell me more about the life of a photojournalist. It must be very glamorous at times. Well, there's nothing glamorous about the pay, I can tell you that much. There was a little mix-up with the lockers, and oh, I accidentally sure. opened yours. Yeah, and? Well, I was kind of confused. I was just trying to see whose stuff was in there, and I found a bunch of IDs in your bag. They all had your picture and other people's names on them. A savvy photojournalist always carries a couple of alternate identities, Nancy. Hmm. When you're working under deadline, you don't always have time to play by the rules. I'm sure you know what I mean. Does your job take you to exotic, far-off places? Well, there is a lot of travel. Too bad I'm so useless with foreign languages. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Keep me posted. Okay then. Well, I guess she seemed very nonchalant about me finding that out. Yeah, but she's a journalist, so maybe she's used to it. Maybe. All right, so back to my room, I guess. Mm-hmm. And I have to turn around because it's picky. <laughs> Yeah, the radio is fixed. There's a oil can there now. Cool. All right. Um, I don't know how an oil can was supposed to help stop the hissing of a radiator, but I mean, dude, I don't know. Yeah, I, I literally don't know. I've never dealt with a radiator in my life. All right. Well, let's call Ned. See if you want to reach out this time. You better fucking answer. I'm gonna have to give him a talking to next to see him. Ned, you won't answer my phone calls. I think we need to break up. 
Nancy, you're always Hello, like, Floyd, it's the me. Well, two well you're a day. sound for sore right, ears. You don't have to break up Bess called me and told me your vacation is rapidly turning into another mystery. So what's the latest? I think whatever is going on around here must have something to do with the castle's history. And the tower that Ezra Wickford imported from France. What do you mean? It's just a hunch. I'll know more once I find my way into the tower. What's going on with you? Ah, oh, the usual. Just buried in books over here. I'm trying to get into the library, <laughs> but the door is locked, and I can't find any other way in. Maybe the detective entrance isn't through a door at all. There must be a more creative way to drop in on the crime scene. You don't think I should just borrow Dexter's extra key from the front desk? I don't know, Nancy. Waltzing right through the front door isn't very adventurous, and it might not be as easy as you think. I, I didn't realize that was what the key was for. But I guess, uh, I guess that's what I got. Apparently, this castle's tower used to be a hangout well, for Marie Antoinette. Please, sir, Who's that? that? Ezra Whitford's wife? Uh, Are you kidding? Marie Antoinette was a famous queen of France. And she used to hang out in Wisconsin? No, silly. The tower was originally part of the Chateau Rochemont in France. Ezra Wickford fell in love with the tower and imported it to Wisconsin. And Marie didn't want to come along. I know, that's well, my that question. Like, how do you just import a tower? Like, Ned Nickerson, yeah. are you pulling my leg? What do you mean, Nancy? You know very well that Marie Antoinette was beheaded in 1793, don't you? Well, yeah. I guess I read something about that when I studied the French Revolution. But when did Wickford show up? He didn't discover the tower until the 1920s. Over a hundred years after Marie's death. Whew! I think I'm all clear now. Thanks for straightening that out for me, Detective. You are some pain in the neck, pal. Good thing I'm so cute. Put on your thinking cap. I need a hint. I'd like to help, Nancy, but I think you'd better ask Bess and George. My brain is still recovering from midterms. I'm trying to decide what to do next. Any thoughts? I'd like to help, Nancy, but I think you'd better ask Bess and George. My brain is still recovering from midterms. Bye, Ned. Go get him, Nancy. Okay, so that's, I think that's what... So I'm really so, like, supportive uh, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what, uh... Good, they so cute. Goes. I think Senior Detective gives me less hints. Ooh. Good thing I'm so cute. Hello? Hi, it's me. How's so it going, Nancy? Are things calming system? down yeah, around the castle? Not unless you find it calming to climb out of a stuck maybe. elevator. What do you mean, stuck? The elevator broke down? Well, that's what I thought. Until I talked to Dexter, who said it was probably the power switch in the basement. But, Nancy, how could the power switch just go off while you were in the elevator? Maybe someone turned it off. But why? That's what I'm wondering. How did you climb out anyway? I climbed through a hatch in the roof of the cab and just barely made it up to the next floor. So you were standing on top of the elevator in the open shaft, way up high? Ugh, just the thought of it makes my stomach do somersaults. Anything interesting in the elevator shaft? Just a metal ladder leading up to this ventilation duct or something. Nothing unusual, except that the cover for the duct looked like it was about to fall off. Hmm. Maybe someone needed to inspect the duct and forgot to replace the grate? Or maybe the duct leads somewhere, like to buried gold, or a hidden Bess. That was Nancy's last case. She's in Wisconsin now, not San Francisco. <laughs> Help, I'm a little stuck. Isn't it about time you checked out the scene of the crime? Okay, you two. I'll talk to you soon. Watch out for weird people. Or, or the library. Yeah, somehow. Yeah. All right, well, cool. Okay, well, save. And load. No, no, no loading, just saving. Not loading yet. Anyway. No, no, only save. <laughs> uh, but I bet I could probably... <coughs> See if I can maybe look at that duct again. Yeah. Because what if I can get to that grate? You know. No, nope, there you are. Can I reach? No, that that's like above you still. That's not on the like wall next to you, is it? That's. Oh damn! Yeah, that's that's right. Oh. And I guess you need some way to like jump to it. 
Well, maybe I should, uh... Or maybe, like, some way to, like, extend a platform and you can walk on the link in a building. Maybe I can climb the ladder and yeah, climb out the basement. Oh, oops. Close that again. Hey, you're not gonna go to the... I will, soon. But what if I do this? Like, I'm on the basement now, right? Uh, yeah. Now I can climb this ladder. Oh, whoops. I went a bit too far. Now I'm in here. Weird. Uh. And nobody fucking hears you stomping around or anything? I guess not. I guess that's not somewhere I can go. Is this the library? Uh. I guess so. Huh. I guess I didn't need that key after all. I'm so confused. I don't. Oh, huh? then again, I guess the library is in the basement. No, no, it's not. It's not? No, but I remember I climbed a ladder to get into the duct. It was on the third floor. This it is was? A, yeah, so this is on the second floor, because I had to jump down. Oh. Well, I guess this is a... This is the second floor, and then the first floor is down there. You go to me. So wait, you, you climbed in the duct on the second floor, and then climbed through it, and you jumped down into this, which is the first floor? Right? Or... Okay, okay, I hear you. That was close. Yeah. I heard the doorknob jiggling, and I was like, oh, I gotta hide. Don't keys and shit. crazy old man. I know you hid that thing around here somewhere. Oh. Mm hmm? The least you could have done was left me a hint. Maybe Mr. Uh, I don't have time to clean this up. Interesting. Odd. But, all right. Well, I'm gonna go look at the guy to see what that was all about. What, 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 what? I'm not gonna spoil you. Why do you want to be spoiled? Because I'm curious. Well, why don't you just figure it out with me? Because I have an easier way to do so. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess I should look around. Uh, I hope I don't need any of this. Probably just looking at it's all I need to do. Hmm. Wisconsin, okay. Latitude 45, longitude 90. Okay. I wonder if that's something Sure is dusty. Important. Sure is dusty. Sure is uh, dusty. So it's because it's, because it's dusty, I can't touch it. Touch it. Oh, uh, interesting. I got dust on my paintbrush, apparently. I don't know why I need to do that. Uh, dusting for fingerprints. Oh, that's right. Okay. On the library alarm code thing. I imagine, though, I, mean, I haven't gotten to it yet. I'm about to read it, but, like... Mm -hmm. More stuff about Marie Antoinette. It's about her portrait. Oh, well. I'm sure I just need to look at it. I don't know if I actually need it. Oh, if you say so. Uh, where was the alarm? Uh, it was over by the door somewhere, wasn't it? Well... Some sort. Can I can I back out of this? Uh, I don't know how, but because <laughs> I feel uh, like I shouldn't mess with this right now. Yeah, I don't know. How to... Okay, there you go. Something something a sly rabbit. I don't think that's the alarm. No, it's not. <coughs> but I need to see the alarm so I can turn it off just in case. Just in case I need to. Yeah, here it is. Uh. Fuck. No. I didn't mean it. No! No! Okay, uh. 
so it looks like it's gonna be. Oh wait, so the, from darker to lighter. Yeah, it's I know. Three. Asterisk seven. Two. Approve. Okay. Achilles home security. Ha. Kind of ironic. I guess. Well, it's like you know the story of the great hero or great warrior Achilles, yeah, right? I, yeah. So then, because it's a protective, secure item that can only be breached by, like, one specific thing, and yet, there it is. Okay. Right? Uh, maybe it's just me, but I, I find it funny and a little ironic. I'm like, ha ha, in my head. So, yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, I got the alarm. So okay. that's good, right? Uh, well, you had a library. Might as well read some books, right? I did. I read a few books already. Like what? The ones that I picked up. I do. Real helpful. I have no idea what puzzle this is or what to do here. Yeah, me either. Uh. <sighs> Chess board, so it's like a. Can't tell if it's blood or oil on the table there. I think it's the same, yeah. Then we're gonna have that one again. I feel like we should probably read that. Uh, one of the where I actually needed to read the books and then I had to do games. The first one, where the Greek thing was important, and it was in the books with the symbols. But these are just words. Like, those had, like, pictures. Yeah, and then in Stay Tuned for Danger, pretty sure that was one of the books that we had to eh. read that told us about how to do the different, um, like, the alarm code thing for the different symbols on the way to get into the um the uh well you trying to dust the freaking <laughs> painting now? I don't know maybe maybe I do need to read the portrait thing of Marie Antoinette because there's a the portrait right there so, oh my uh, one of the main green ones <laughs> Now this seems really important, so maybe the next page. This doesn't seem important at all. So the tiara is actually what's missing, and the jewels that were on it, which apparently were last seen in the tower. Or no, she didn't want to wear them when she took the portrait in the tower. Okay. Because she was like against it for whatever reason. Uh, is that a hole of some sort? It looks like. Yeah. And that was in the United States. Okay. Wisconsin, Capital, Madison, July 4th, 1936, Union. Uh, well, I'm guessing the only thing that matters is this longitude and latitude. It's the Badger State. Their motto is forward. State symbols. Alright, some of that's probably going to be useful. Okay. Yeah. Wood pilot, sugar maple, ramen, badger. The Badger State Badger card. White tailed deer. Dairy cow. Insect, honeybee, milk, on Wisconsin, dance, polka, simultaneous, the morning dove. Right. I'm guessing the, the only thing that's going to be important is that lot of dude. Call me crazy, but isn't Wisconsin the cheese state? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Pretty sure it's the cheese state. The badger state. I've never heard it called that. Was that the value of what? Some guy. Dude. Wow. Anyway. I didn't mean to click that. Okay.
Alex? 7-2. Oh, right. Okay, and now I can leave. Oh, ho. You make sure to shut the door behind you. Yeah. Oh, it's right. locked. Okay. Wait a minute. Uh, can I turn around? Can I turn around? You see that outline, right? Uh. Oh, okay, yeah, I see it now. But. Nothing I can do about it right now, though. Smash it with a hammer! No. Do it. No. Okay. <laughs> I Hi there, how's it going? Did you know Professor Hotchkiss published a book on Marie Antoinette? Yeah, I looked her up on the internet. The critics panned the book. Looks like other historians think she's a real quack. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Stay warm. Okay. Can I help you? Okay. See you, Mr. Egan. Alrighty then. Well, I've been in the library. Uh, there's a puzzle there that I don't know what to do about yet. Yep, some sort of strange clock device, I guess, right? Yeah. Uh, maybe um, you should set your alarm and wait until, um... The, what, what time did she say? Uh, 3 to 6, I'm pretty sure. A.M. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Ooh. Okay, I'm back, I guess back to my room then. Which is over here. Somewhere. Yeah. What are you I don't know, I thought I, I thought that sounded like that. No, it's just the wind. The wind outside, yeah. I don't even know what my closet is there anything to do even in my room? Sleep? I mean, other than that, uh, I guess not. Sleep. Okay, fine. Call people. Uh, before I do that, I'm gonna save. All right. Why? Because you can never save enough. I guess. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Okay. So between three and six a.m. Yep. <sighs> and she said in the lobby. Yes. But it didn't do like two, just to make sure you're up a little early so you can catch her. What? Never mind. Not a big deal. She won't be there at two. Right, but to make sure you're up early and you know, make sure you'll like see her there. Yeah, maybe this were real life. Nancy, dear, welcome to the witching hour. Isn't it marvelous to be up and about when others are sound asleep? I find my brain waves are at their most powerful during this time. Uh, yeah, I guess that tough one. Yes, I happen to do some of my best work in the middle of the night, too. So, tell me, Professor, what is this you know, theory you're working bomb. on? Well, yeah. you probably know by now that I'm a scholar of French history. <laughs> My specialty is Marie Antoinette. Oh, poor Marie, the most misunderstood queen of the 18th century. Marie used to visit the very tower that now belongs to this castle. I'm convinced that this place holds evidence that will forever change the way the world views Marie. But the walls have ears, so I'd rather not say any more right now. If you're really interested, why don't you go up to my room and have a look around yourself? You've been such a great help to me, almost like an apprentice. Oh, I've always wanted an apprentice. Wow, Professor, that's really generous of you. I'd love to learn more about your work, but are you sure you don't mind? I insist! Your mind is like a ravenous monkey gobbling up every banana in its path. Oh, how can I stand in the way? Here's my extra pass key. I get back to work at 6 a.m. sharp, so just make sure you vacate the premises by 5.59 and put things back where you find them. It's all scientifically organized in there. 
What did you mean when you said Marie Antoinette was misunderstood? Everyone thought Marie did nothing but spend France's money on jewels and fancy soap for herself, while her people were starving. History books have upheld the myth that she was just a spoiled and heartless brat, but I don't believe it. What do you believe? I believe that she's been the victim of vicious rumors and lazy historians for too long, and that if the real story could be told, people would realize that Marie Antoinette was actually a good woman who wanted to help her people but didn't know how. Do you know anything about a tiara that was given to Marie Antoinette? The infamous tiara, of course! Oh, people thought Marie had this extravagant piece commissioned for herself, and they hated her for it. But really, it was her husband, King Louis XVI, who had it made for her birthday. Oh, she didn't want it, refused to wear it, and then, a few months before the revolution broke out, the tiara disappeared. Was it ever found? It was never found. There were rumors that she had it destroyed, but no one has ever been able to prove this. See you soon. Goodbye. Okay, well, I guess I get to check out our room now. Yeah. Wonder what kind of weird shit we might find out there. Who knows? Um, okay. Walk in and immediately, like, this weird, like, I don't know, like, half stuffed, like, suit thing just flops from the ceiling. <laughs> it's a partially, like, mangled dead body. Save. It's a good thing we got here at, like, three, because now we have, like. like what are you nine, talking right? about? It's only two! What time is it? T -t -t two or two. No, okay, I mean, on the, in the game. Oh, uh -huh. It is. appears to be 3.15. Okay, so we're playing in time still. Uh, uh, I can't really read that, but I'm sure all we have to do is look at it. Something, 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 something. Uh, typing. Uh, the shoes. I don't know why she wanted them. Because you just put them there. Camera. Testing. Can anyone hear me? Hotch kiss to Earth. Come in, Earth. Oh, okay. I think I think we're rolling. <clears throat> Now, let's get a look at these hallways. So rich in detail. You'd never know this place was built in 1920. It's all so 18th C. Oh, and there's Marie. I feel so close to her just being here. It's as if her spirit is in the air. Sweet as the smell of fried chicken. <gasps> okay. Battery died. It did, or is it just that the, uh... Yeah, I saw the battery running out. Um, I don't know why I would want to take that. Oh, Plus she said, uh, to leave everything where it was. Something's right. missing here. Oh. Is it a phone or something? Hold or? on. It needs to be charged. Oh. Okay. So that way I can watch more of the video, I guess. I guess. Is there even more of the video? What if we have to start from the beginning? We'll start from the beginning? What do you mean? Like, of the video. Oh. Like, I don't know. Make sure the, have, we have to make sure the battery's fully charged so we can watch the whole thing in one go. That's probably it, yeah. What's all that about? Uh... Uh... It's just a letter. I'm sure we only... Regarding anything about the castle or stuff right now, or...? You're talking to a friend about her adventures here, I guess. Oh. Kind of like how we talked to Bess and George? Yeah, but that's in letter form. Gotcha. Um, well, there's nothing else to do. I guess check the battery to see if it's charged enough to... Oh, okay, well. I don't know how you check it, so... Uh, no, it's not charged enough. Oof. How do you know if it's charged enough? Uh, I guess that it will turn green. Oh. Maybe. Probably. Uh, well, is there anything else for you to click on or check out in here? Or is that literally it, the thing with the camera? Well, I guess it's a typewriter, but I don't know what else to do over there. It's weird. Because it seems... Something's seems missing here. ...that the battery's still... Because uh, if I would... I'm confused. I don't know. I, I don't know. Don't check the time, because apparently, like... Uh, I think it's 3.15, okay. Still? 
Oh. Wait, what? Still? Wait. Wasn't it 315 the last time you checked? Oh, maybe it's 415, but that, that would... Mm. Maybe I should ask her about the video, and while I'm gone, it will charge more. Maybe. Well, better rush over there. And... <laughs> I gotta Just ask touch. you about Miss Kiss! Miss Kiss! Video. Miss Kiss, is that her name? Uh, it's like Professor Hop Hopskiss or something. Uh. Yeah. Hello, my fellow night owl. Or perhaps I should say hoot hoot. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Did you find anything of interest in my room? I did pop in there, though interesting doesn't begin to describe the place. Would you mind if I went back another time? Of course not. Pop in all you like, just not when I'm working. See you soon. Goodbye. Well, I guess I can't really ask her about the video. Guess not, but she said that you're free to check it out whenever you're. She's not there, so. Right. And only from three to six. And she said to put things back where I found it, which means I should probably put the video back in before. Probably. What time is it? It's right at like four thirty. Okay. Uh, huh. I guess I just gotta wait. Maybe. Well, oh. I guess let's read this. I Marvelous to receive news of your progress. I'm sure you're on to something important with, with the medallion in the stained glass window, but I think the significance of the medallion must go beyond the message you've seen. I've looked through my family letters, and it seems that when Marie Antoinette gave her niece, Helga the First, my great, 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 uh, great, great aunt, the medallion, she told Helga to keep it safe, as it was part of a great truth that she helped would someday heal, to help to heal the wounds of France. Helga urged to her to explain this great truth, but this is all that Marie would divulge. The truth can seem hard and ugly at first, but eventually this hardness becomes a thing of eternal beauty. B. You must find out the meaning of this. Give her the good work, old friend. I know you will be successful. Uh, Whatever the name is. Something, something. Alright, well. Von, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. I, I couldn't read it. I not make it out really well. Right. Anything else to look at while we're waiting for it to charge? Uh, and there's this, but can we, we, I we can't read it. It's, I mean, born November second. A Scorpio like me. What a coincidence! No wonder she was so passionate. Austrian birth name Maria and Tonia. Tonia married off at fifteen, and she had to change her name too. She must have been Fresh. frightened. Her favorite. <laughs> color was purple, like me. I wonder if the... If she... If she adored, adored chicken drumsticks. <laughs> Despite the elaborate <laughs> hairstyles that were in the fashion of the day, Marie pro preferred, preferred to wear her hair loose, loose, unpowdered, and natural. Note, evidence that she was um... unpretentious. There is no... Concrete evidence. evidence that she was the one who coldly declared, "Let them eat cake." In response to the men's that ha ha that her people that knew that her people there. were starving. Marie was immature but not cruel. cruel. Interesting. Okay, how's this? Is it done charting yet? Uh, I'll take it off and try it. What's the time? Uh, five o'clock. Well, it's been charging for an hour. <sighs> Come on. Maybe click the play button in the corner? I thought I did. Like, up top. Yeah, can you not no. click that? No. Uh, what? Maybe it didn't actually have anything more to show? Or maybe you have to rewind it. How do I do that? Uh, those oh. two buttons there, right? Uh, I can't. Uh, maybe there was nothing else to see on the video? Maybe. I can ask her about it later, I guess. Hmm. Well, okay then. I don't know about you, but I don't know what else to do. So. Yeah, I guess I'll go back to my room. 
Because I don't think there's anything else to talk to her about, is there? No. I guess let's call our peeps. Alright. It's early in the morning, I don't know if anyone will answer. Oh, you're right. Let's leave then. Maybe you're not gonna get a whole lot of sleep right now. <laughs> you're right. Two hours of sleep, my favorite. Great, I got a whole 40 minutes. <laughs> Okay, you got a hold of me. What do you need? Uh, it doesn't look like the police will be here for a while yet. Is there any chance I could take a quick look inside the library? Forget about it. A crime was committed, and for once in my life, I'm following the proper procedures. Look, I'm up to my ears down here. I'll have to talk to you later. <laughs> the, the quality changed. I know, right? Like, that was so weird. I was actually about to point that out to you, but... Yeah. Is he gonna be like, did he step away from the phone or something? Like, is he is he about to attack somebody with it? Like, what the hell? I'm up to my ears, Daniel. Like, is he, is he just Nickerson yelling at like, Can I help you? <laughs> well, hello there. I sure hope you can help. Hey, Nancy, I thought it might be you. What's up? How do you think Professor Hotchkiss ended up with Marie Antoinette's green medallion? It sounds like Marie gave the medallion to the family of that Baroness Helga in Austria. Maybe Helga gave it to Hotchkiss when they became friends in order to help with her research. I'm trying to decide what to do next. Interesting. Any thoughts? I'd like to help, Nancy, but I think you'd better ask Bess and George. My brain is still recovering from midterms. Bye, Ned. Bye. Oops. Oh, we're about to go down that again. I was about to, yeah. Well, I wonder if that number stays Hello? the same in between. Hi, George. Hey, Nancy. What's the latest? That ventilation duct in the elevator shaft? It leads to the library. I knew it! So you got inside? Did the vandal do a lot of damage? It was a mess in there, all right. The vandal even clawed a big hole in one of the walls. He, or she, must have been desperate to find something. Like what? I don't know. Before I could really investigate, Dexter came in. Uh-oh. What did you do? I hid back in the duct. He was looking for something, and then he left. Well, that sounds awfully suspicious. Didn't he say he didn't want anything touched until the police came? Right, I know. Wow, I wonder what everyone is looking for. Maybe one of the books in the library contains a secret code. Or a treasure map. Or maybe I'm too late. Maybe the vandal already found it, whatever it was. Apparently old Dexter doesn't think so. Hell, I'm a little stuck. There's a world of discovery still to be made in the library, Nancy. Well, a mini world, anyway. Okay, you two. I'll talk to library. you soon. Good You're luck. So Be careful. I'm guessing you probably can't get back into the front door even if you use the key, or just not try that. I haven't tried it, but uh, I'm gonna guess the alarm's gonna go off. Bro. Oh. Right, but won't it go off if you go through the duct? No. No? No, I think the alarm was going off because, uh, because Dexter went in. Oh. Okay. But, uh, let's see. Can I help you? No, okay. Uh, see ya, Mr. Egan. Alrighty then. Do you want to see anything to say to me? And you're not even here. Okay. Where, where? Wonder where she's staying. I don't know. Or, like, so, which room is hers? Yeah, I don't know. So I'm gonna save first. Okay. And then you're gonna try and get in with the key, or? Yeah. Well,. You theoretically did disable the alarm, right? So... Um... Three, seven... Oh, okay. Right, forgot about the asterisk. I thought it was after seven. You didn't hear that, did he? I don't think so. Interesting. Uh, well, this is the only thing I can think of to do. But...
what do? I I don't know. I've never seen this kind of puzzle before. Guide. Alrighty. Uh. Oh, find the globe. Okay. That'll probably give me all the answers I need, right? Yep. And that's for the, and the this particular puzzle is called the compass puzzle, apparently. Here's the globe. Oh, here we go. What, the, what am I supposed to do with this? Uh, oh, oh sorry. Wait. Wait, is this the latitude and longitude thing? For Wisconsin? Maybe. We're, okay, so that's... Well, that's only one of them, though. Isn't there another... Uh, for the opposite? I move it to 90 degrees west. Okay. <laughs> There shouldn't, shouldn't there be another one for... Then click on the top knob to open it. The top knob? Yeah. Oh. Okay. There you go. Uh, okay. Negative 15, 10, negative 5. Okay. Okay. Uh, so back to the heart. So, negative 10, 15... Uh, right? Did I? I think so. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you should hear a creaky, squeaky sound when you do it correctly. Uh, move the compass to each number, and every time you move it, click. On the top, on the green top button. Every time I move it? Move the compass to each number, and every time you move it, click the green top button. So, like. So, every time I move it? I guess. That's 15, right? Yeah. secret door before you go dashing in there take a look at some important books one is the book of Marie Antoinette lying on the floor written by Professor Hotchkiss I already did that okay uh, the other book you must read is the one about Marie Antoinette's famous portrait that is on the small table to the right which I already did on the spiral stairs that leads to the secret room into a bench shaft which I already did this book is what triggers the close-up for the per for portrait once we reach the tower. Okay. Okay, so where's the secret room? Uh, let's see. Uh, upstairs. Upstairs? Yeah. As in, like, upstairs in the library? I, yes, somewhere in the library. I'll do it. Oh. Okay. It's so weird hearing, like, the library music and then switching to the, the main theme music. Yeah. Kind of funny. I got a lighter. It's so dark in here. I guess that's what the light is for. Yep. Oh. Okay. There's a key in the... Okay. It's so dark in here. It's not really. But whatever. Can you 
you look around without the candle being on, or? I don't know. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I need anything else. Well, let's turn the candle on, and then... The castle's been empty for many years now. These hallways just echo in vain. And, oh, how I miss you, my one-time son. My anger is dissolved into pain. So don't let you pilfer my wallet. Money could hardly have mattered. That fifty dollars I give you twice, but instead my poor heart you shattered. I if only I could find you, we'd patch it all up, talk through it as dad and son should. Perhaps you meant only to test my love. Perhaps you felt misunderstood. Or do you know that your old man forgives you? Old bygones be by uh, are bygones with me. So I've left you one keepsake to remember me by. You'll sure to be be delighted to see. Go to the garden, my old thinking spot, my refuge in hours of dread. Your luck charm is stashed where no stranger would look in the back of my old troubled head. So this is goodbye, dear Dexter. Farewell. You. Oh, you offered me much needed joy, and I'll never forget all the laughter you brought me, my darling young uh, rascally boy. So this is Dexter's dad. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. Damn. That's all right. Okay. I should probably blow that out. Probably. Don't it's wanna... so dark in I... here. What's that medallion? Though? I can't do anything. Okay. Guess not. Uh, can I open these drawers? Maybe I need the lights on again. Drawers? No, can't even. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so I should probably blow that candle out. And then get out of here? Yeah. Because I don't know if anything else you could need to do in here. Now let's go ahead and save. Wow, that was kind of heartbreaking. Yeah. Or depressing. I guess Dexter didn't like his dad very much for some reason. So wait, it said there was a close-up of the Marie Antoinette picture in that area, didn't it? Uh, no. It, well, later when we actually get into the quote-unquote secret tower. Well, let me just make sure. Let me turn the light on. I need right. to turn around because there's an area. Pretty sure this isn't the tower. No, but I didn't see this before. All, this is like a little... A thing of a texture. Yeah. Uh, Aw. That's cute. Excellence in Citizenship Award. Alright. Huh. I'm use Batty was forward. I'm sorry to report that your son Dexter was caught in school grounds last night throwing rocks at the gymnasium windows. This is the second time he's been caught attempting to destroy school property. We fear that Dexter is becoming a danger to himself and others. We have no choice but to expel him. Jesus. Please contact if you have any questions regarding this matter. Sincerely. Oh. Harold Bernie, a school principal. You get expelled? Yeah. Dear Pop, I'm sorry for taking $50 out of your wallet without asking. I know it was wrong. I know you were very disappointed me. I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. I'm sorry. Your son, Dexter. Bank employees of the Milwaukee branch of First National Bank on Third Street helped police catch a young man who tried to cash kind of a check to their bank. September 6, 2.30 p.m. Came into the bank with phony checks and identification that matched everything that all the checks Milwaukee blue Apparently upset. Bank employees put into the license plate and the description of the car. Called police and defended the young man from Milwaukee. And if it's Dr. Egan, 18, of Butter Ridge, the doctor's son of Pearl Chocolate Milk Tycoon, Ezra Whitford. Oh, the same guy who owned this castle. Yeah. Er, chick, I guess. One of the two. And three different sets of false ID matching the checks. At 18, the kid is already like a pro. Egan was arrested for felony charges of possession of false ID for the purpose of fraud, possession of counterfeit checks, attempting to pass the checks, and conspiracy. If convicted, he could face a prison sentence of up to 20 years. As of Friday, Egan is being held at a county correctional center. Uh, on $50,000 bail, and said a jail spokeswoman. 
Ezra, do not be your true comment, nor has anyone come forward to bail Mr. Egan. Oof. I raised a crook. Uh, I changed your will according to the directions you gave me in a reading in the event of your death next to one. No recourse to inherit Wickford Castle or any of your, your state or financial holdings. Further, he will be unable to claim any associate with or capitalize upon your name, name or reputation. Okay, I'm proceeding with your request to annul your adopted relationship to Dexter and to sever any associated legal ties you may have to him. I will notify you when these pieces are finalized. On a personal note, allow me to say how sorry I am to hear Dexter's criminal conviction and to urge you not to blame yourself. I'm sure you did the best you could with Dexter, but some children must turn out just turned out to be medics. Nonetheless, while your disappointment must be profound, I commend your prudence and pragmatism in the decisions you have made to protect your estate. Yours faithfully, Peter Brockford. Damn. Wow. Oops. That's just that again. Is there anything I can look at as a good? Like a good is very good. Oh yeah, I didn't look at this. Huh. When spelling bee. Huh. Wow. Yeah. Wonder what he felt. I wonder why he turned to a life of crime. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess he was adopted in the whole, but like, I wonder why he would turn out to be. Well, adopted doesn't mean anything. Right, but. Uh, I don't know. So it was 3 asterisk 7 2? Yes. Da 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 da. Alright. Now I can leave without causing an alarm. Yay! Now I guess. Talk to him? Maybe? Yes. Is Lisa here? <laughs> so what'd you find in the library? How do you know I was in the library? Oh, come on, Nancy. You've been on the prowl. I can tell by the sparkle in your eye. Hmm. Should I lie? Well, is it that obvious? You think I should tell the truth? Wow, is it that obvious? I guess I'll have to work on my poker face. I knew it! So, what'd you find in there? Dead bodies? Ezra Wickford's icky childhood bug collection? Actually, I did find a secret room of Ezra Wickford's, but no bodies or treasure. There were a few bugs, now that you mention it. Really? What else? Do tell. I found out that Dexter actually grew up here with Ezra until he started getting in trouble with the law and Ezra disowned him. Can you believe it? That is weird. You're such the detective, Nancy. I can't wait to hear what you find out next. You think I was being too open with her? I'll let you get back to your magazine. Keep me posted. I mean, does she need to know that information? Well, Can she's, I help she's you? She's missing in the area, so. So, did you grow up around here? You could say that. Did you know the original owner, Ezra Wickford, when he lived here? You could say that. Did you know him well? They call it the past for a reason, okay? Because it's over. So, do you know if Ezra Wickford had a place where he liked to go and think? Some place he thought of as a refuge? There was a private area of the garden. Yeah. The entrance was hidden, so no one could bother him there. Were you allowed to go out there? Once in a while he'd bring me out there and teach me about his favorite flowers, but that was like a hundred years ago. Do you think I could go check it out? Forget about it. There's nothing out there but dead weeds and crumbling statues. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Alrighty then. Huh, <sighs> okay. Well, who else can I talk to? I shouldn't I have to wait till like three o'clock in the morning to talk to her, right? To who? Uh, what's her face? Hopskiss? Yeah. Yeah. Like, if I try to knock on her door right now, she'll be like... Clack, 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 cl
So I guess I could talk to her at night, maybe? Yeah. So I'll go to my room. Nice one. Call up some people real quick. Tell them I'm already here. Alright. And whatever it'll say. Okay, you got a hold of me. What do you need? Any update on the weather, Mr. Egan? Well, let's see. It says here, uh, snow. Oh, yes, and uh, more snow. I gotta go. Is there anything else? Nothing, really. Uh, sorry I bothered you. Snow, and, uh, more snow. <laughs> right. Hello? Hi again. Hey, Nancy. How's the case coming along? I'm trying to decide what to do next. Any thoughts? I'd like to help, Nancy, but I think you'd better ask Bess and George. My brain is still recovering from midterms. I'm trying to decide what to do next. Any thoughts? I'd like to help, Nancy, but I think you'd better ask Bess and George. My brain is still recovering from midterms. Bye, Ned. Go get him, Nancy. In real life, like, people started, like, Repeating themselves like that in a loop, yeah, because you just exhausted all dialogue conversation <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah. Hello, George and Bess too. What's new, Nancy? Get this. I found a secret room in the library. Secret room. It looks like it was Ezra Wickford's study. Would you believe that Dextra Egan was Wickford's adopted son once upon a time? Until Wickford disowned him? Why was Dexter disowned? He was convicted of a felony. Counterfeiting. I guess Wickford didn't want any more to do with him after that. Well, that's a checkered past if I ever heard of one. Wonder what he's doing back at the castle. Maybe he wants revenge. Revenge on who? Wickford's dead. It's not logical, George. It's revenge. Wickford wrote Dexter a farewell poem before he died. The inventor of chocolate milk was a poet, too? Yum. I could write a poem or two about chocolate milk. It says that he hid some sort of <laughs> luck charm for Dexter to find. Where? Something, Something really about really his old thinking spot somewhere yeah. out in the garden. Funny, but I didn't see any garden when I came in. Well, you can't exactly tiptoe through the tulips when they're buried under six feet of snow. Never mind my cheeky cousin over there, Nancy. When the storm passes, you should go out and see what you can find. I've been doing some research on Marie Antoinette. Find anything interesting? Apparently, Marie Antoinette was once given an extravagant tiara with a ruby, a sapphire, an emerald, and a humongous diamond in it. But she hated it and refused to wear it. Who ever heard of a queen who hated jewels? What's even weirder is that before she was executed, the tiara just disappeared. Nobody has ever found it. Maybe it's somewhere right in Wickford Castle. And that's what the Vandal tore the library apart looking for. Or it could be the old childhood luck charm Wickford mentioned in the poem. Maybe that's what you saw Dexter hunting for. Who ever heard of a kid carrying around a bazillion dollar tiara for good luck? Help, I'm a little stuck. The tower, Nancy. You've got to find a way in there. OK, you two. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. Okay, actually, before I sleep, I remember I, there's one more truck person I can talk to, and that's John. Oh. True. I forgot about him. Yeah. I can take the elevator now that it's working. <laughs> loading, loading, loading. Get that thing loading. <laughs> Get oh. that thing loading? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I will. Let's run. Listen. Oh. You know, I still can't access my own locker. Yes, you, you've talked about that many times. How? Oh. Already. Hello? Shock must be gone. Well, never mind then. I guess I'll, uh... Oh, it's already here. Okay. I wonder what Jock's schedule is. Like, what time is it? Uh, looks like it's about 1:45. 
I'm guessing that I'm guessing the actual hour hand doesn't actually move. Midnight? No, it's not midnight. It's like noon, I think. Like twelve forty five as in like noon forty five. Oh. Uh, I assume anyway. Ooh. Let's look at this clock. Yeah. Twelve forty five PM. Oh, okay. So it's just about one AM. Oh and AM. Three AM. Yes, dear. See you soon. Right on. Oh, nothing. All of that for nothing. Ripper Rony. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, well, back to my room. And we gotta find a way to talk to Zarok. I don't know when he's available. Uh, I don't either, actually. That's her room. My room's on the other side. I guess let's try like sometime in the afternoon. Like like three p.m. No, it was already at three p.m. No, it was it was, it was no. three a.m. Right. Okay, now let's try it out. Wait, isn't he gone from like two to five or something? Dude, I don't know. But he wasn't there at 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 three a.m. No, he wasn't there at uh one o'clock. Yeah. Hmm. Is there, did anywhere say it's that schedule? Uh, oh, I've never seen one briefly, but I'll remember it very well. Just that the office hours were closed from like 2 to 5, I'm pretty sure. Which I'm pretty sure is going to be rental offices, but it could be wrong. Mm, nope, he's there. Ah, Nancy. Come on, say Nothing. Ooh. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Well. Well, we've been recording for a while. Do you think maybe we should call it here for a second and see what we need to do? Yeah, probably. All right. All right. Let me get back to somewhere and then save. Maybe you need to talk to Lisa again. Lisa? Maybe. Like. After I talked to, cause I, I just recently talked to her. Right. I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll do it again right before we end the episode. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Good job. My bad. Come on. Well, if it isn't Dexter's little Cinderella. When you research this place, did you find any references to a secret garden? Huh. Not that I remember. But I probably wasn't even thinking about gardens. I mean, it's hardly croquet weather. I'll let you get back to your magazine. <laughs> Later, Nancy. Well, there was something new from her, but nothing that really helped. Yeah. Maybe we actually do legit have to just find a way to get the weather to pass. Yeah. Or, like, get some boots, but Jock doesn't rent them out to us. Anyway, I'm gonna save again, just to make sure. And on the next episode. Yeah. See you guys next time. Bye bye! bye.